All right. So, what is going on, everybody? It's mine here, and for this video, Death Battle Sanji versus Rock Lee. I got Jeff here. Say hi. Hello. And uh, I am uh, very unsure of who's going to win this fight. <laughs> I don't know, because um, I don't remember how to exactly scale Rock Lee. I know, I know him to be a slightly weaker version of Mike Guy, plus as, hasn't opened all eight gates. Well, I'm pretty sure he can. He just you know hasn't. Therefore, I don't think he's going to. Or I don't think they're going to make that his limit or anything like that. Right. And Sanji, I don't know exactly how to scale One Piece characters, first off. Like, I, you know, some people could probably pull out a feat, but there's a thousand episodes of One Piece, that, so I'm probably not going to remember everything. And then Sanji, you know, I'm like two or three arcs behind, and, I, you know, one of them is actually very Sanji, he he heavy lore-esque in the Sanji, so this is probably going to spoil a lot for Sanji for me, just saying <laughs> And this, all of this is going to be spoiler for Sanji for Jeff. Like, even though, like, we both watched Naruto. I haven't f watched all of One Piece. He's barely watched any One Piece. Yeah, I'm on, uh, I'm on episode, uh... Have you even gotten to Sanji yet? Yes. Oh, okay. Um... If you gotten uh, to Sanji, then, uh... Yeah, you know they have a long way to go. I have no idea where I'm at. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that was a waste of time. All right, you ready, man? Yes. All right. Three, two, one. Start. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. We all have goals and want to be happy, but there's always just something in our lives preventing us from getting that, isn't there? Well, BetterHelp is here to assess your needs and help better help. you with your own The only thing I will say, though, is that, um, I think, it's more affordable I, I don't know what to really say, because Rock Lee might just have the advantage in terms of fighting technique, because Sanji doesn't use his hands. Like, Sanji only kicks. So... And Rock Lee punches and kicks. And uses weapons. So, yeah, because like, he does use Shuriken and, uh, yeah. and, uh, Kunai. Yeah. Alright. Like Sanji, the sous chef of the Straw Hat Pirates searching for the One Piece. And Rock Lee, and Rock Lee. a working ninja warrior from the village of Naruto. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. While, while skills, it's doing this introduction, I do just gotta uh, say, the uh, Rock Lee versus Gara fight is still so one of the most badass fights. Oh, yes. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, that was, like, the first, like, time I ever got, like, super hyped watching an anime fight was that one. For real. I mean, like, I loved, like, the Zor um, a lot of the other fights and the other ones, but, uh, but, um, that was, like, the first one that really awakened, like, oh, this is hype type of thing, you know? You know, emotionally stable. A surprisingly low bar to aim for, but hey, good for her. And she pulled it off. While most of her children were violent sociopaths, one showed no signs of their shared superhuman genetics. This <laughs> is Sanji. Oh, the poor kid didn't have a great childhood. I mean, he was surrounded by actual superhuman bullying. Okay, so this kind of stuff I knew about, like, um, I figured out about Sanji, but other than that, you know, I don't know. I told you his childhood sucked. Fortunately, Sanji eventually escaped thanks to some help from his sister, who I guess was slightly less of a sociopath, and made his way across the sea as a cook. Until he was shipwrecked and left marooned. Poor guy just can't catch a break. But Sanji found a new daddy in the form of pirate red leg Zeph, who trained him in his own martial arts. Black oh yeah, this style. guy. Wait, shouldn't that be red Whoa! Oh, did they redo this fight? Oh, that's cool. Exclusively on kicks, which worked out swimmingly for Sanji. No, puns are my job. I don't need you pirating that from me. His hands have no place in a fight. To him, they should be kept as pristine as possible for cooking. 
which is frankly wonderful etiquette. Even if his <laughs> own life is in serious danger, he will not break this self-imposed rule. You gotta hand it to him. Black leg is like taking capoeira, taekwondo, and every other martial art with high flying footwork and mixing them all up like a <laughs> stew. And just like a tasty dish, he named his attacks after a bunch of French words, which I definitely cannot pronounce. <laughs> the most to recognize is Diable Jean, also known as the Devil Lay. By moving at incredibly high speeds, Sanji builds up... Oh yeah, Sanji can... Hold on, I'm not gonna say it. ...literally catches on fire. To do so, he'd have to be moving his legs over 11,000 meters per second. <laughs> moves pretty lit. Clearly Sanji's super fast. He's quick enough to keep up with the pirate captain, Luffy, who effortlessly dodged laser beams from a robot man bear guy. <laughs> it's a long story. That's one piece in a nutshell. <laughs> a very, very long story. A very... <laughs> oh, yes. So hard, it makes you as handsome as that devil George Clooney. Oh, brother. Then he can start blasting and Danny DeVito you back to normal with a <laughs> He can literally walk on air by the He said Danny DeVito you back to normal. For real. Yeah, because that's the thing about One Piece characters. They're either they either look pretty cool or they're the like weirdest looking figures you'll ever see. Like like there's no in between. For real. Straw hat pirates. With them at his side, he began a hunt for the all blue. A mythical location where every ocean in the world connects and all manner of sea life exists. A perfect spot for yeah, hardly any sea. in between. Like, like if you're in between, then you don't matter. Your family at some point, and when he did, he got an upgrade. This is the raid suit, a miraculous outfit oh. with hover boots, invisibility, air boost, oh crud. Power, and a snazzy okay, so this is new to me. Suit is stored in an easy to carry canister that can be opened for a magical girl transformation. Uh -huh. Like what? So. Oh, is this beer? Wait a minute. If that's my beer, what am I drinking? Uh. <laughs> oh. No. To go to the bathroom. <laughs> While Sanji may not possess the superhuman ability of his siblings, he has learned something similar yet entirely different. Hockey. Oh yeah, he learned hockey. All right, so it's another thing. Gazunta. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically to strengthen his limbs for ironclad defense and stronger attacks. However, Sanji's own Okay, so or observation hockey. I didn't even think about hockey. Oh man. Of others, including through walls. He can even predict uh -oh. events at least. Lee might need to uh with the straw hats. Yeah, man. Here's the thing, like I don't remember the scaling. <laughs> I remember that fight. in the freaking world. And he could battle the Marine Fujitora, who could summon meteors from the sky. The largest of which, when compared to the island of Dressrosa, appears to have a diameter of over 780 meters, and thus a kinetic energy of over 12 gigatons of TNT. So, like, he fought a guy who could basically blow up a whole island in a snap, and then some. Let me know the next time you find a cook who can pull that off. He Pretty much. He has his fair share of weaknesses, though. Sanji sees himself as a gentleman and thus refuses to fight a lady at any cost. Yeah. He has his own life. And uh he's absolutely terrified of drag queens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and a horrifying child. Yeah. Sanji is a man of the moment. An adventurer. Uh, One day he will surely discover I remember that. And whatever else comes after that. I was looking for oh, my appreciate <laughs> All right, Rockley, let's go. <laughs> Absolutely terrified of drag queens. Oh, poor Sanji. We've seen them show off their awesome talent on Death Battle before, but one ninja student sought to prove that talent wasn't naturally born. That talent could be achieved through nothing but hard work. This is Rockley. I remember seeing Rockley for the first time too, man. Oh my god. Of ninja magic called ninjutsu or ninjutsu, but not Rocky over here. Essentially, Lee was born with a disability, unable to access the living chakra energies within his body the same way his peers could. But while this certainly made things difficult for him, he continued to train, pushing himself to become a splendid ninja. <laughs> he got paired up with Neji, who might as well have the word prodigy stamped on his forehead. Uh, 
Hello, irony. <laughs> family to speak of. Uh. one to guide him on his difficult path. Fortunately, he found inspiration in the form of a fellow bowl cut individual, Mike Guy, a man who is <laughs> the house is not his dad guy. Guy saw Lee's potential. Oh man. Trained him to master the art of taijutsu, a ninja's physical prowess using chakra, body, and mind. So he's not going to be shooting fireballs or popping up clones of himself like the other guys, but he's going to learn how to punch harder than anyone. Actually, that's exactly the point of his martial art. Strong fist. A style that's all about shattering bones. Not just any ninja can master the form of strong fist. In the hands of a novice, it's a dangerous technique. One wrong move, and you could accidentally break your own limbs. But Lee quickly gets shows it and even learns some awesome. Oh, man. Moves, like this killer of Zuna drop on steroids. The primary lotus. A technique so useful that many other ninja tried to copy it for themselves. What a yeah. <laughs> Ocean, and if he drinks it, he goes into a super zen state that makes him basically invincible. Incorrect, as usual, Boomstick. That was due to American censorship. Right, it wasn't a Wait. potion, it was sake. Somehow, Lee's susceptibility to alcohol... Wait, did they censor that in the dub? Expert in the drunken yes. I, don't, I don't remember that at all. I thought he just got drunk. I wanted to try that style myself, and uh, I'm not going to Oh, drunken fist. What's this? I didn't know they- I don't remember they censored it. <laughs> Real drunken boxers only emulate the movements of the inebriated. They're not actually- Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Piece of cake. Anyway, when uh. Root isn't totally sloshed, he's got one more ace of his sleeve. The Eight Gates. In the world of Naruto, the eight gates. gates exist within the human body. Yeah, okay, here we go. The real world Buddhist teachings of opening oneself to achieve enlightenment. But in Lee's case, it's opening a can of whoop ass. <laughs> that horrible myth about humans using only one small part of their brain. Each open gate increases Lee's abilities in some way. For example, the first gate allows Lee to utilize 100% of his body's potential by removing inherent mental and physical inhibitions. The third gate lets him expend enough chakra all at once to perform his signature technique, the Hidden Lotus. Eh, the first few gates are pretty chill, even if they do wear him out. Thing is, the more gates you open, the more dangerous it gets. But Lee wasn't afraid. By the age of 13, he could unlock five of the eight gates. More than enough to keep up with the likes of Neji and honorary Green Day member Gara. <laughs> Almost as quick as Naruto, who's dodged light speed attacks. And when he opened the sixth gate, he used it to slice up a giant meteor. Wait, what? Well, meteor he has a meteor feet? <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> he must have produced a force equal to about 230 megatons. Oh, yeah, that's in Naruto. Yeah, that, that's, that's Naruto the last. I don't remember he did that. I thought Sasuke destroyed that meteor. Uh, uh, there was two. Oh, <laughs> two meteors. Are they fighting Madara again? As the successor to Mike Guy, who did unlock all eight gates, Lee should be comparable. Guy could make a blast the size of an island with the seventh gate. With the eighth, he could go head to head with the ultimate big bad, Madara. This creep was packing more power than when Naruto's chakra blew a hole through the moon. A 400 petaton explosion. That's way bigger than 50 nukes. Hell, the eighth gate can bend the fabric of space. <laughs> Just one small problem. You die if you open the 8th gate, so... Because of that, I don't think they're gonna have him open all 8 gates. Because, like, just because you can, doesn't mean, you know, they're gonna have him do it, right? Like, if that's... Like, if they do have him do it, then yeah, I'm gonna say Lee wins. Well, according to the wisdom of Gammy Boomstick, one's dead and the other isn't, so I Damn. Oh. <laughs> Damn. hard work truly did pay off. That's wrong. God, that shit's so badass, man. Yeah. I might have to watch that fight. Like, <laughs> watch it watch that again later. Yeah, maybe. fiery determination in the sack. Check out Okay, so I'm gonna go with Lee because apparently Lee had way greater feats than I thought, 
and at the same time, it's like if they do have him use the eighth gate, then that's like an automatic win. Yeah. So. Let's go, Lee. And that's an if, because. But at the same time, I don't remember. I, I don't remember all the math. I, like I, I just watched it five minutes ago, and I already don't remember the, any math from uh, Sanji. So, well, yeah. Sanji has like feats of like fighting people who can destroy islands, but then Rock Lee's actually done things that are at like island level. So, yeah. Huh. Oh, I'm about to get an ad. So pause right now. Oh, Rock Lee's just at just getting food from him. <laughs> I see your fighting skills match your skill in cooking. Oh. <laughs> Show your chef some respect. Uh-oh. Respect? <laughs> Look at him. Eh, don't make fun of Sanji's cooking ever. Oof. Uh oh. Off of his shoe. Um, why is everything so loud? Fifth gate, open! Oh, he's already at the fifth gate. Sixth gate of fuel? Sixth gate! Oh, man. Seventh gate of wonder? Seven. Okay. Oh, shoot. Alright, say a man mode. <laughs> Basically what it is. <laughs> For real. <laughs> it turned him in the head some Squidward. <laughs> No way! Well, sorry, Sanji. <laughs> oh, for real. Oh! Yep! Ow. Uh, uh oh. No way! What? No way! No way! <laughs> Looks like Mild suited you best. My dish is too. What the frick? Well, damn. Okay. This ain't Saji wins. I guess Lee can finally have that belt with Neji now. Given Lee's oh. experience and the power of the eight gates. He definitely kept Sanji on his toes. But Sanji was no slouch himself, and likely has trained all of his life. With his speed Whoa. and position hockey, he handled even the unpredictable drunken fist. And while the seventh gate meant Lee could probably blow up an island, that's not as big as the meteor the Straw Hats could handle. Simply put, Lee had only one somewhat reliable method of a possible victory. The eighth gate. A suicide move he's never actually used before. Not really the best argument for a win on its own. But gate number eight is uh. on Madara. Sanji's tough, yeah, but he's definitely not on that guy's level. A couple big hits from the eighth gate and Sanji's nothing but pace, so what gives? Well, Lee would have to hit him first. While Sanji's power may not compare to the eighth gate, his speed is far beyond. 
Recall when his huh. rabble rouser Luffy uh, very patiently waited for a light speed laser to reach him before dodging it. To pull this off, Luffy would have had to move 30 Huh, okay, so you're going off of speed feats. Keep up with Luffy, and this was before he even got his super fast raid suit. Don't get us wrong, the power of the eighth gate is incredible. If we were to run this fight a hundred more rounds, Lee would surely land a winning blow with it a few times. But more often than not, so they're saying, so they're saying like he had enough speed to avoid, uh, so he had enough speed to avoid um, a lethal blow, oh, for real. or out, or at least outlast um, the eighth gate. So I guess that's fair. You know, that, that's a fair argument. And like, like I said, I'm behind, so I don't know um, about um, Sanji's feet, so that, that surprises me. Right. Okay, is that the last one this year? Oh no, there's one more. The Hulk? No! <laughs> Hulk versus Broly? Oh shoot! Okay, don't get me wrong, Hulk is strong, but, but he's he's not Broly. <laughs> he's not universal. Broly is universal. <laughs> okay. Like Yeah. Like if he could fight freaking God Goku oh no, no, no like blue Goku and blue Vegeta, he's universal easy. So <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Broly, fucking, it took, it took Super Saiyan, it took Super Saiyan Gogeta to match Broly. Actually, here, well, it took, it, it took Blue, yeah, it took Super Saiyan Vegeta to match Broly, and then Blue Vegeta, uh, Gogeta, like, is way above him, so, that's the other thing. And it's safe to say it's way above, because he never got touched for the rest of that fight, so. Yeah. Like, as soon as he went blue, it was just all a one-sided fight from there on. So. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that. <laughs> but still, I think it's safe to say good, um, Broly wins that. Like, I don't... And are they going off of Super Broly? Because... Well, that was Super Broly that they showed, but he's only had one yeah. movie. Yeah. You know, like, you know, there's all the old Brolys, but, uh... Huh. Dude, even old Broly is stronger than fucking... <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, like, old Broly destroyed a galaxy, but I am i don't know if that's, like, realistic-sized galaxy or Dragon Ball-sized galaxy, you know? Dude, Dragon Ball galaxies are fucking bigger than normal galaxies anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, my money's all on uh, Broly for that one, so... <laughs> for real. <laughs> Sorry, Hulk. You're gonna, you're, <laughs> Hulk's about to take two L's because he already lost the Doomsday. For real. Ah, uh, all right. So, yeah, that was a cool fight. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised, but at the same time, it's like, um, I don't, I wasn't hundred percent sure, so I was planning on being surprised. But then, just from the video itself, I was expecting Lee. But then, you know, they they put up a valid argument. I think, you know, like. If they're measuring that speed feet accurately, you know. Okay, so. That was fun. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave like you did. You'll see us in the next video. Peace out. Adios, muchachos.